Hello, I'm David Finlayson from Chesapeake Technology, and today I'd like to show you a few different ways you can visualize acoustic reflectors in sub-bottom profiles in SonarWiz. I've opened up SonarWiz to a project with seven sub-bottom profiles. Here they're shown in map view. Let's open up one and take a look at it. You can see that I've already bottom tracked the profile and I've added two acoustic reflectors. The reflector in red is just the bottom track converted to a seafloor reflector. This can be done automatically from the bottom tracking tab. The second reflector in green here is what I'm calling RF0. It's really just a trace of the acoustic basement. Now there are a couple of things to point out about RF0. First, notice that the reflector is broken up into multiple fragments. There are areas that are where the reflector is easily traced and other areas where the profile got no return on the horizon at all. If you open up the properties of each fragment by editing it, I want to point out that I've been careful to give each fragment of the horizon the same name. In this case, I call it the horizon RF0 for reflector 0. Now you can export a profile image with all of the annotation marks you see here and touch up the profile in an Illustrator program. If instead we want to emphasize the thickness between two horizons, we can use the compute thickness operation to create a vertical patch over the layer. Here's how that works. Open the Compute Thickness dialog. Now select the top horizon. We'll use the seafloor horizon. Next, select the bottom horizon. And SonarWiz will compute the thickness between the horizons and display the horizon in a hatched overlay. You can select these overlays and change some of the drawing properties. Let's set them all to red as this stands out in the 3D viewer. Switching to the 3D viewer, now you can see that the layer thickness hatching gives a nice presentation of the sedimentary infill in this area of the seafloor. You can spin the model around to get a better idea of how the horizon changes from profile to profile. It'd be cool though if we could create a surface that represented the RF0 horizon, and it turns out that we can do that. Go back to SonarWiz and open up the Feature Manager. Here you can see that all of our acoustic reflectors are listed as features by name. There are about 15 acoustic reflectors listed for RF0. To create a surface out of the RF0 reflector, click the Export button. Select Export Features by Name. Set the export format to 3D Surface. We want to add the antenna offset and separation. Select RF0 as the feature to export and save the results to a single file. Click OK. It doesn't take long. We can open up the RF0 surface by right-clicking on the Grid section of the Project Explorer and adding the grid. Navigate to the SHP folder where we saved the grid, and you can see the surface we just, collect, or just created. Click it and open it up in the project. If you want to contour the RF0 surface, just right-click the RF0 grid and select the Contour Grid, where you can play around with contour intervals and set things up the way you want. When the contour surface is added to SonarWiz, you get a better sense of where the RF0 layer runs deep and shallow, I think. Now that we've got our RF0 surface, we can add it to our 3D view as well. So switching back to the 3D viewer, we can add the RF surface to the scene by adding a grid, the RF0 grid. You can see how the RF0 surface was interpolated between the profiles and between the gaps in the reflector segments. Another cool thing we can do is add the bathymetric surface, which I also have a grid for here. So now the bathymetric surface has been added in. We can zoom in on that. And you can do this neat effect where you make the bathymetric surface transparent to reveal what's underneath. I think this makes a really nice presentation. If you'd like to learn more about SonarWiz's capabilities, please visit us at www.chesapeaketech.com, where you can download a free trial of the software to try on your own data. Thanks for watching.